News Talk K20 WBAP and now on FM at 93.3. Make it a preset. 800-288-WBAP is our number. 800-288-9227. Um, we have a, a, the breaking news at about 5 or 6-ish, give or take. I don't know. I remember when it happened. I tweeted it out. Follow me on Twitter at Chris Croc Show. That's at Chris Croc Show. C H R I S K R O K. That's C H R I S K R O K. Also the same on Twitter at Chris Croc Show. Um, Supreme Court is going to hear the Trump immunity case. That's the breaking news moments ago. And the uh, the info that I got on this, the intel is pretty interesting. Fake news CNN legal expert, quote-unquote, say that loosely. It wasn't Jeffrey Lubin, by the way, the guy who likes to let people watch the Yankees play, if you will, Uh, roughing up the suspect in front of his colleagues. But it was another one of their uh, so-called legal experts who said the oral arguments are going to be April 22nd. And the Supreme Court most likely will issue the decision on whether President Trump has immunity in the D.C. case. That's the one where the jury pool is going to suck because about only about what, like eight percent of people in, in the District of Columbia vote for orange men or are even Republicans. The uh, somewhere around 90 or 92 percent of everybody that lives in the district that votes votes for Democrats. Shocked? I'm not. But. We have uh, the Supreme Court's going to hear it, according to fake news CNN's legal expert. By the end of June, the decision will be made. And then fake news CNN uh, and legal analysts claiming that in July will be the earliest the case will continue. And how does it continue? By mid to late July, jury selection. That can take weeks. So that gets you through the month of August. Maybe you'll have a trial in September or October. The feds. The DOJ, this crazy leftist Jack Smith, who is an uh, – he's actually – all he is is a political operative who has DOJ power. He is Joe Biden's bulldog, and he is doing what Joe Biden wants him to do and nothing else. It's not about justice. It's about destroying the president. And the the ridiculousness of the whole thing is laid bare when you see that Jack Smith tried to rush this trial. It was supposed to start on Monday. He wanted the trial to start on Monday. <laughs> Isn't that a funny one? That is funny. Now, you know, we have in this great country of ours, at least for now, supposedly, a right to a speedy trial, but also we absolutely have a right to a trial that is not rushed so that we can have a proper defense. And you're dealing with Thousands and thousands of documents, if not possibly millions of documents. Nobody knows. I want to hear from you right now, though. I want you to tell me if you think Trump will get a fair trial in this D.C. case after all. And how hopeful are you that the trial won't be decided until after the election? And you want Trump to pardon himself if he's elected and convicted. 800-288-WBAP is our number, 800-288-9227. Chime in right now, 800-288-WBAP, 800-288-9227. Do you think Trump will get a fair trial in this D.C. case? How hopeful are you that the trial won't be decided until after the election? And do you want Trump to pardon himself if he's elected and convicted? Now, I have another piece of sick news tonight. These sick bleepity bleeps in Illinois... A judge there, this just broke moments ago, a judge in Illinois announced late today that Trump has been removed from the state's 2024 Republican ballot. Ah, They don't want you to have a choice. You are not allowed to have a choice. Do you understand me? In America, you can't vote for the Republican. You cannot vote for the Republican that Democrats don't approve of. If the Democrats don't want the Republican nominee, you can't vote for them. Which means you vote for Democrat or Democrat or Democrat or stay home and do nothing. Doesn't that sound like Russia to you? Doesn't that sound like Kim Jong-un to you? Doesn't that sound like um, uh, uh, the Ayatollah Khomeini in Iran and the, your choices? China? Got to vote for Xi Jinping or no one? Absolutely does. We are uh, falling into this uh, horrible abyss 
of uh, where we're headed to. But Cook County Judge, shocker, the county I was born in and the city I was born in in Chicago. Um, Tracy Porter Bar Trump from the Illinois ballot one month after the challenge was dismissed by the Illinois State Board of Education Elections or Illinois State Board of Elections. And um, Illinois is the third state where Trump was booted from the ballot. But the Supreme Court already, all these decisions are paused pending the appeal of the Colorado case to the U.S. Supreme Court. So these people are freaking nuts. I mean, this is very dangerous and very nakedly hyperpartisan and, and, and communist Marxist. Do you think Donald J. Trump will actually get a fair trial? How hopeful are you that the trial won't be prosecuted or decided, I should say, the judgment won't be decided until after the election? And do you want Trump to pardon himself if he's elected and convicted? Uh, 800-288-WBAP is our number, 800-288-9227. Now, I want to tell you something else, too, that um, the Fox, one of the Fox News' legal analysts uh, and legal experts is – Jonathan Turley, uh, George Washington University scholar, constitutional scholar and law professor there, constitutional law professor. Jonathan Turley said tonight that the earliest uh, that the trial will begin is late summer. And I'm directly quoting him when he said we could be knocking or they could be knocking on the door of November by the time the trial gets started. If he wins, it doesn't matter anymore, does it? If he wins, because... If he wins, he will claim he will pardon himself. So even if he's convicted between uh, November, what's the election this year? Tenth. I always remember when it used to be November third or November second or whatever it was. Now it's like November tenth, I think. So, I mean, think of it. The uh, what is that producer Garrett? Hold on. Go ahead. November fifth. Yeah. So I mean, let's look at this, guys. Uh, pulling out my little calendar here. Um, if you look. At the trial not starting, uh, according to Turley, late summer, which would be you know the last week or two of August. Uh, so then you got September, October. You know, for it to go seven weeks, I, I'll be shocked if it uh, doesn't go at least. I mean, dude, come on. I mean, you're going to be having what 40, 50 witnesses on each side. Um. So and then you have cross examination. I'm not a legal expert, but I agree with what Turley says. Uh, you could be knocking on the door of November, and so I think this is. By the way, the DOJ—they're not—they're going to break this. But listen closely. I believe I don't trust anything on them. I think everything is rigged with these people. We know it. It's not that I think it's we know it. But the the DOJ has a policy, written policy, that you stay away from prosecuting politicians around the election time. You don't prosecute in that last month or two. I don't have the exact dates, but you stay away from election time for prosecution. So the DOJ will have to break its um, written, apparently written policy. But I believe for Orange Man, they'll do anything. However, they're going to violate their own policy. So the high court is the second time they're going to hear a case. Uh, the Colorado one, trying to get him off the ballot, was the first one. It ruled in his favor, of course. Even liberals did. I think it was 8-1. to one, Or was it 7-2? to two? I think it was 8-1. to one. Uh, in the Colorado decision. Um, uh, Smith, the prosecutor, days later, the rigged DOJ prosecutor against Trump, days later requested the U.S. Supreme Court reject Trump's bid to have a d delay his trial. He tried to keep the trial going even while they waited for the Supreme Court to say immunity or no immunity. No! Can't. It's all on hold. And they he tried to start sending documents for discovery, you know, pretrial discovery. And Trump's like, I'm not taking any documents. Trump's legal team said, we're not taking it. We're not doing any discovery. No, nothing moves until after that. Why, why, why would they do anything? Nothing. So the, the rigged DOJ leftist police uh, force, police state, wants to rush it. And uh, Trump wants – that would, that would you give him a poor defense. If you can't get a, a, a reasonable defense and a reasonable time to put on your defense in a case that involves thousands if not millions of documents, you don't get a fair trial. They don't want a fair trial. They want to throw this man in jail. So uh, there you have it, guys. And by the way, uh, Smith charged the president with conspiracy to defraud the United States, conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding, obstruction of an attempted of obstruction to a, a official, official proceeding, and conspiracy against rights. Don't you know 
that conspiring to obstruct an official proceeding and obstruction of and to obstruct an official uh, proceeding is exactly what the Democrat leader uh, – was it Hakeem Jeffries or whichever one it was that claimed to be a moron? I forget, but he pulled the fire alarm. He literally interfered with official congressional proceedings and obstructed official proceedings by pulling the fire alarm. I forget that guy's name. He's, uh, I think, an African-American Democrat principal from – or assistant principal from New York who pulled a fire alarm, a man who's either a moron or a liar, and I believe he's a liar and a moron. Um, so, uh, yeah, Trump gets charged with it, but not this guy. And Orange Man gets charged with documents cases, but not uh, Biden. BS, guys. You think they're going to get a fair trial? You think Trump's going to get a fair trial? And how are you? How hopeful are you the trial won't be decided until after the election? And do you want Trump to pardon himself if he's elected and convicted? 800-288-WBAP is our number, 800-288-9227. Uh, coming up next, after we get your call, then I want to talk about the latest with the illegals. I now have an extra, extra three or four or five heinous, violent, sexual, and or murder uh, or rape cases from illegals that Joe has brought in all over this country, new ones that came out in the past 24 hours. The horror is raining down on us. All that next on the uh, – as we're on the eve of the Biden-Trump appearance on the border in Texas tomorrow. Next on the Chris Crock Show on News Talk 820 WBAP and now on FM at 93.3. News Talk 820 WBAP now on FM at 93.3. Make it a preset. 800-288-WBAP is our number. That's 800-288-9227. Um, I'm going to – lay out several cases of illegals who are murdering us, raping us, killing us and our daughters and our wives and our children who are in college. In just a moment, that I mean, Bill Malugin said what I was saying last night. Today he said it in a tweet. He says, I, I, I can't keep up with these anymore. Even I can't. Because of the amount of illegals that are Killing us, raping us, etc., and even murdering a two-year-old child. Uh, that's a new one today, along with others. Um, before I go through that list, uh, I also will be telling you about, once you know, to them to tell you about what's happening in um, Sanctuary City, Denver, how it's burying them alive, and uh, how they're what they're doing to try to stave that off. But. And then, by the way, we're on the eve of uh, Joe Biden and Trump going at the border. Now, now here's what you need to understand. The uh, jo uh, President Trump already publicly scheduled his visit to the border in Texas, our great state, our great state, um, publicly before Biden had anything. And Trump is going there, and he's going to where the actual massive amount of illegals are. He's going to uh, uh, Eagle Pass. And Joe Biden is going where no illegals are to show how secure his border is, which is a bald-faced lie, and we all know that, tomorrow, five hours before Trump. So not only did he clone he, – did he, did he follow Trump to the border, but he actually decided to pretend like it was his idea before Trump and uh, scheduled it five hours before Trump because he is not a leader. He is a follower, and he's getting his butt handed to him, and everybody knows it. Here is KJP trying to pretend that Joe Biden already had this uh, plan before Trump did, even though Trump's was public and Biden's wasn't. The former president, his people are saying that the only reason President Biden is going this week is because former President Trump was going to go and he wanted to not lose this issue. So can you give us a sense of what the planning process was to go this I mean, week? That's, I mean, look, you guys have covered this president and other presidents for some time. Uh, we just can't all of a sudden put something on the president's schedule, right? It takes time to do that. The president has been very clear that he was going to take this issue directly to the American people. Bull crap. <clears throat> Excuse me, got a little bit of a cold. Um... Do you actually believe that Biden had already planned to go to the border before Trump did? Do you believe this? That's the funniest thing in the world, isn't it? Um, let me. I want to read to you the the stories. Uh, it's just um, it, it's it's horrifying. All the crime these illegals are doing now. Uh, here's Bill Malugin from Fox News. Can't keep up with these stories at this point. Louisiana now reporting an illegal from Honduras arrested for the rape of a 14-year-old girl at knife point. 
and for stabbing another man repeatedly during a robbery. We have also that uh, Nilson Noel Trejo Granados, uh, illegal from El Salvador, arrested in connection with the murder of a two-year-old child in D.C. He is also now a confirmed MS-13 gang member. Thank you, Joe Biden. And he was arrested twice in Montgomery County, which is uh, Maryland, which is Metro D.C., for theft. Detainers were lodged, but he was not removed. He came up through our great state of Texas in the RGV. Uh, a 24-year-old man uh, today is uh, stabbed multiple times outside of a New York City illegal migrant shelter next to Central Park. It is a migrant, illegal migrant on illegal migrant attack. A uh, 24-year-old was found stabbed in the stomach and back. Took place after a fight broke out between, between the two illegal migrants at the facility. Also, the man who's been arrested for murdering that beautiful 22-year-old college student uh, in Lake and Riley in UJ, UJ's campus. I'll play some audio from that mayor in a minute. Uh, that's Jose Ibarra. His brother, 29-year-old Diego Ibarra, entered our country twice illegally, once in um, earlier in 2023 and about a month later in 2023. He was able to come and go as he pleased. On this second entry, there was a violent event where a Border Patrol agent was assaulted Um uh, uh uh, one of the uh, big uh, media outlets from uh, Ali Bradley reported he was not prosecuted when he beat the hell out of one of our, our troopers, or excuse me, our Border Patrol, because he claimed to have epilepsy. However, uh, a man that came with him, another illegal that came with him, Jose Salas Lozada, from, also from Venezuela, was charged with assaulting that same agent and is sitting in a Big Springs Federal Correctional Facility as an aggravated felon for 16 months for assault, six months for illegal entry of, in our great country. Um, and uh, the brother of the alleged murderer of that UGA nursing student, Diego Ibarro, his brother was arrested three times in Georgia prior. No, I'm sorry, that's his brother. Uh, that's the accused murderer's brother, arrested three times prior in Georgia for being nabbed for uh, having a fake green card as well. And more uh, deaths, more rape and mayhem and murder in Charlotte County uh, in Florida, Inglewood, Florida, an illegal Honduran. He's been arrested for raping a uh, woman and is being held without bond. In Boston, a Guatemalan illegal convicted of sexually assaulting a child under 14, released from custody, allowed to go free until ICE grabbed him. And another one, an illegal murdered a mom and daughter, 16-year-old daughter, in a DUI crash in Bloomfield, Colorado. I believe that's a suburb of, of um, Venezuela. This is just in the past week. Just in a few, like four days. This is what Joe Biden has unleashed on us. It's, it's, it's disgusting. It's, I want to scream. And um, coming up next, I'm going to share with you how Venezuela literally has, has the lowest crime rate in decades after emptying its prisons out and sending them here. I want to ask you this, though. At 800-288-WBAP, 800-288-9227, what can Joe Biden say tomorrow at our border that would make you believe he's finally doing something to stop the millions of illegals he's allowed in with no vetting? What can Joe Biden say tomorrow at our border that would make you believe he's finally doing something to stop the millions of illegals he's allowed in with no vetting? I want to hear from you now at 800-288-WBAP, 800-288-9227. Chime in right now. And I'm going to tell you also coming up next how Denver is scaling back their illegal migrant services and closing some of the shelters because they can't afford it anymore. Next. Sanctuary City doesn't track with either of those. And so... That term means different things to different people depending on the context of the discussion. Uh, we know what many, it means. Many yeah, of the elements. Liar. Many of the elements. Liar. 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 We, liar. We are here to listen. Liar. You're a liar. We are here to listen. Liar. You're time a liar. For questions. You're all guilty and got blood on your head for this murder, sir. Many of the aspects that are ascribed to sanctuary cities. We know what sanctuary are things means. that are disallowed by Georgia law. And I'd like to understand from you what Trump era immigration policies have been banned, ended, reversed, and if any investigations are underway by you. Uh, so we have rescinded so many uh, Trump immigration policies. It would take so much time to list them. Rut row, and then there's this. This idea that just there's no vetting and there's no proper immigration enforcement going on at the border just does not, does not comport with reality. 
Boy, you think they're lying? I mean, this everything writes itself. They are killing our people because they wanted this invasion, and they still want this invasion. What can Joe Biden say tomorrow when he and Trump are at the border in separate appearances 330 miles away? Trump decided to do this a long time before Biden did. And then Biden said, oh, crap, he looks so good doing that. I've got, I got to show up there like I'm doing something. But I'm going to go in Brownsville, 330 miles away from where Trump is, uh, where nothing's going on right now. And he'll go over to, you know, they'll clean up the streets at Potemkin Village kind of a thing. And then Trump will be 330 miles over where the chaos is uh, and where the uh, our great state and our governor's been fighting back. Venezuela's violent deaths have fallen to a 22-year low on migration, uh, reports uh, liberal uh, Bloomberg News. The rate is the lowest since 2001, Violence Observatory of Venezuela says, suicide rates amid continued uh, humanitarian crisis. Uh, Venezuelans' rate of violence death dropped to the lowest level in more than two decades, following years of massive migration as both criminals and victims fled their nation. The... Um, the crime has gone way down, and it's uh, the lowest since 2001. It's one-third of what it was in 2016, 2016. You know why? We got them all. They emptied their prisons and their mental institutions. They're raping us, killing us, murdering us, uh, et cetera. Children, women, adults, everyone. Denver, meantime, the city uh, of Denver's mayor is saying – that uh, they're closing four shelters. They're rotating the illegal shelters to close them because they have a hundred uh, sixty million dollar budget and reallocation uh, back to city services. Uh, the city of uh, Denver saying they cannot do this. This is uh, unsustainable. Trying to avoid layoffs with their impending uh, pending budget cuts. Lifeguards, coaches, front desk. Also, the mayor predicted the illegal migrant crisis will cost them one hundred and eighty million. It's not sustainable, he says. They have uh, 39,000 illeg- 39, illegals right now, costing $58 million so far, or whatever, $58 million right now, I guess. And um, by the way, the mayor says the plan could change if he sees massive, massive surges of arrivals again and has to increase shelter space and illegal migrant services. The people are suffering in a sanctuary city, but that's what they want. They get it, swamp them, flood them. With more illegals. What can Joe Biden? I want to hear from you right now on News Talk 820 WBAP and now on FM at 933. Make it a preset. Uh, 800 288 WBAP is our number. 800 288 9227. Chime in right now. What can Joe Biden say tomorrow when he's on our border at Brownsville? What can he say tomorrow when to make you believe that he's finally doing something to stop the millions of illegals he's allowed in with no vetting? No vetting. You know, they, the, the, the FBI has no criminal database that searches any of these people. And not only that, but they have no Interpol. And uh, the uh, former border chief was on Fox News yesterday, and he said, I played it for you. He said there's no border check. Well, there's, we, border checks for these people. There's no background checks. There's no time to do it. It's just stamp and let them in. And that's why they're coming in, raping us and murdering us, because Venezuela has emptied its prisons into our country. Josh in Lancaster, you've called in at 800-288-WBAP on uh, News Talk 820 WBAP and now on FM at 93.3. Hey, Josh. Hey, how's it going, Chris? Good. How are you? Good. Cannot complain. Joe Biden can say nada. There's nothing he can do, like have some executive order that gets you excited or makes you go, wait, he's actually, yeah. actually going to stop this. Well, he's not going to do that. He's a liar, and he's not going to do that. He, he systematically undid everything that was securing the border. Uh, the border had been more secure than it had been in many decades. It still had some work to go, but, but it was certainly uh, thousands of times better than it is now. That, that, this is uh, – outside of me actually seeing him begin, you know, Monday morning, uh, the process of deporting thousands and thousands of these uh, immigrants a day, no, there's, there's nothing. It's, it, it, anything else would be lip service. What he's going to do is – He's going to blame it. He's going to lay it at the feet of the Republicans because we won't sign one of his garbage bills. But, but yes. this thing is wrapped around his neck like an albatross. Between the, the, these three issues, the, the immigration is about to – it's practically catching the American atmosphere on fire right now. Uh, that is age. Uh, the Palestinians who are uniting to say they are not going to vote for him. 100,000. 100,000 of them voted against him last night in Michigan. 100,000. His margin yeah, of uh, victory so over right. Trump was like 150 or 100 and something like that. Um, yeah. If he loses that, he's, in, he's, he's not going to win Michigan. 
and the economy, the economy, dummy, the economy. <laughs> you know, that's you know, it's, he's 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 done. He's done. There's nothing. This uh, public sees through this. I mean, you know, you're going to have the, the liberal voters who are just going to vote at their own detriment, regardless. But I think the independents are going to carry this home for us because at the end of the day, they care about the safety of their family and they care about their pocketbooks. You know, the president still has not called the family of uh, Lakin, uh, Lakin, uh, the the uh, young lady Lakin. I can't remember her last name. What's wrong with me? Um, in uh, Riley, you, uh, Riley, uh, yeah, that? thank you, Lakin Riley at uh, the UGA nursing school. There, yeah, he still you know hasn't why, called them, huh? You know why, don't you? Because it's his fault, and they're going to tell him that. Yeah, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. Mm. The, you, you know, the, no, you're, you're right. With that, Afghanistan. That, that, that have lost sleep over things, you know. There's presidents that I don't agree with on certain things and policies and stuff, but I have no doubt in my mind that presidents like Trump, presidents like uh, Bush, Reagan, these men lost sleep at night over the things happening in this country that they were trying to wrangle. Joe Biden is not one of those men, and neither was Obama. These guys have no conscience. They're morally bankrupt. Uh, and they don't serve the same master that you and I serve. You're, that's exactly, you're exactly right. That is exactly right. For them, they are the master. They are, and the government is the master. Um, I was watching, remember, you ever hear that, uh, know that woman who's a Chinese-American named Xi Van Fleet? Xi, Xi, Xi uh, what's her name? Xi Van, Xi Van Fleet. Uh, she was on the Tucker Carlson's episode yesterday. I'm going to see if I can get her on because... She was in communist China when the Cultural Revolution happened, and and it was the elite students at the most elite, prestigious, expensive schools that were the first ones to start spitting on and murdering their teachers who were well-dressed. And then they started uh, spitting on and beating up and killing uh, people who was not part of their class, the bourgeoisie, whatever. It was a new Red Army that was made by Mao, and it was because Mao wanted to stay in power and then they, they, when they were done killing and burning and terrorizing everybody, she said they went into their houses and stole stuff, anything nice they stole. Um, and they were all educated in the system, in their uh, government schools, by Mao, and they did what he told them to do, which is what the Democrats are doing with their DEI and their um, – BLM and their uh, Antifa, Antifa, but what am I thinking about? Their cultural Marxisms in the schools, the what's it called, the uh, critical race theory, all that. What it's doing is you have an oppressor, which would be us, Asians too, Jews too, and uh, there's others too. They they lump into this in a sick way, in a sick, sick way, in a a sick, wicked way. And they're programming our youth to be the red shirts. And she says she was there. She lived through it all. She became an English teacher in the in eighty six, and she met a sweet, wonderful American woman who would become her good friend, who would come back to this country, honor her word, and sponsor her and bring her here. She's the one that spoke the Loudoun County uh, board meeting with a heavy Asian accent about the cultural Marxist revolution, and she lived through it. That's her, and she has a brand new book. That's why I'm going to get her on soon, um, because. This woman didn't say nothing to nobody. Her kids are growing up. They're not in any schools. She speaks at them because she's a taxpayer and because she can say from truth, this is what is freaking happening right now in this country. We have generations. We have a, we have probably two generations of, of youth in this country that have no idea the billions of people whose lives have been laid down at the hands of communists and socialists. Well, they don't care because this is all about their God. They're being raised up, and and, and they're doing a great job on a former president, Hussein Obama, and now Joe Biden, of raising up a new generation of uneducated goons who will attack, violently attack, like with the, when St. George Floyd, blessed be his name, when he died from a drug overdose, um, and uh, anything else that goes on. I got to roll, buddy, but I appreciate you very much, including the Jew hatred, the vile, sick, wicked, satanic Jew hatred coming out of our college campuses. Do you know, I heard last night, I forget which campus it is, but uh, on Fox, uh, that or was it today? Um, they are now. It was one of the elite ones. Uh, they are. They showed up at an area. It was. Um, it was Berkeley. There was a is, uh, Israeli former Israeli Knesset member who came and spoke to the Jewish students there, a Jewish students group at Berkeley, and the terrorist Jew hating uh, uh, pro Palestinians. They they got violent. They yelled. They shut the event down so it wouldn't happen. They were against free speech, and they said they called him. 
dirt uh, and the Jewish students there, dirty Jews. You're dirty Jews. You're dirty Jews. Dirty Jews. What's next beyond the violence they already do? Kill them. Kill them. That's what they're teaching our kids to do. Kill them. Kill them. You and me, to platform us, show up at our houses. Kill is next. She said that herself. She watched it happen in front of her eyes. But what are you saying? Because we're in America, this can't happen? We're human beings. We're just as fallible. Don't you forget that, all right? There's my little soapbox. Next, we're going to get into, on the Chris Kroc Show, um, this is insane. Second coyote attack. Third. Third coyote attack in like five days at one Arlington Park. We're going to talk about, you're going to hear the 911 tape coming up next. We're going to talk about how would you defend yourself and your kids in this situation. And do you blame the coyotes or do you blame us? Should we let them be in these situations since they were, quote unquote, here first or what? That's coming up next. Chris Crock Show, News Talk 820 WBAP and now on FM at 93.3. All right. There was a recommendation from our listener, Doris, on Facebook Live. You can watch me on Facebook Live right now. You can see if I have a third eye as rumored or something nasty growing out of my forehead of some sort. Uh, go to Facebook. Uh, go to, go to cr- at Chris Croc Show. At Chris Croc Show. C-H-R-I-S-K-R-O-K. At Chris Croc Show. And uh, click on the public figure and uh, jump in there. So three coyotes, guys. Three coyotes attacked three separate children at one Arlington playground. Isn't that terrifying? In broad daylight, I'm assuming, because who brings children to a park when it's dark? A little children. No one. So this is a Parkway Central Park in Arlington. Gee, would you, why would you put park in the middle of a on the name on the, uh, in the name of a park? Parkway Central Park. Thank you for calling the Department of Redundancy Department. May I help you? Did you get that little joke there, Bruce Garrett? Thank you for calling the Department of Redundancy Department. May I help you? You get that little joke? Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to play for you the 911 call first. It's pretty riveting, and um, a coyote is terrifying and terrorizing and biting children in broad daylight. And then the coyote, as you'll hear in this 911 call to Arlington police, listen to this. The coyote dragged the child, was trying to tri- was dragging it into the woods. Now, it was probably, in my estimation, it was going to finish the job and eat the child. I mean, I don't doubt that at all. Why would, I, why would a coyote go, go from the woods and go into a park? And before you think it's uh, got rabies, it did not have rabies. It did not. They captured it, uh, what the one they believe to be uh, aggressively attacking people. And they did not, it did not test positive for rabies. So what gives? Here's the 911 call. Arlington on one. Oh my goodness. Uh, hello. Hi, um, can, I can I get a, a ambulance? I don't even know where we are. Um, I have a little girl who just got attacked by a coyote um, at the park. It's going to be... You know the name of the park? No, I don't. It's gonna be um. Okay, hold on. Oh, he's coming back. Oh shit! Is it Parkway Central Park, 600 Van Buren? He's coming back. I'm sorry. Hold on. It's Parkway. Yes, it's Parkway, Parkway Central Park. Yay! Yes. How old is the girl? It's a big coyote. He's coming back. February 10. Two, oh, my Jesus. The, um, they got an Audi team. Hello. Are you there? Oh, okay. Okay, are you with the little girl? Okay, but I'm going to pause it. Uh, we'll play the rest coming up next. I want to ask you, I want you to chime in right now at 800-288-WBAP is our number, 800-288-9227. How would you defend yourself? And your kids in this situation. You know, and coyotes are not afraid of us in these metro areas. You know it and I know it. What have you done to fend off a coyote attacking you or just getting close to you? You're getting worried or your pet. And do you blame the coyotes or do you blame us for moving in on their territory, as some people say? I, I've had listeners of this show that uh, agree with me most of the time that call and say, well, we've moved into, the, into their territory. Leave them alone. 
And should we just let them be in these situations since they were, quote unquote, here first? Man, I can't wait to get into what I would do to defend myself. I want to hear what you would do to defend yourself and your kids from a coyote attack. Three coyotes attacking February 12th, February 13th, and February 10th at the same park. Not rabies, according to the authorities. They captured and euthanized it, tested for rabies. None. Broad daylight. The rest of the 911 call is next, and I'm going to tell you how I would defend myself, and I want to hear how you would defend yourself and your kids, and if you blame the coyotes or us on that. Next, Chris Crock Show, News Talk 820 WBAP, now on FM at 93.3.